It's day 18. Do you have squirrels in your life? No, I just met you, but I squirrel. We all do. This happens to all of us. We get these things that will distract our attention. We might be in the middle of working on something and then a notification pops up on our phone. We might be in the middle of working on something and the phone rings when we pick up. We might be driving down the road and we see an accident to the right of us and we just have to divert our attention and watch and see what happens over there. Now we're not paying attention to what's in front of us. Every time you divert your attention and chase after those squirrels, you lose focus on the things that you've already classified or as important. I'd like you to think about this in the way in a couple of different ways. One way is, hey, there are some squirrels that are exciting. There are some squirrels that will help lead to innovation. There are some squirrels that will help you think create creatively about you know a way that you hadn't thought about something before. And you can take advantage of those. But on the other side, there are the squirrels that will pop up, the notifications that will pop up that will distract you from getting the important things done. Figure out ways to compartmentalize and create blocks for yourself to reduce the noise of those squirrels. And as a leader inside your organization, think about the things you can do for your team to help minimize those squirrels from coming up. You know, what's interesting is leaders, we can go in and start talking about some ideas or things that we're thinking about for the future. And some members of the team will perceive that as things that are actually happening in the future. And it will divert their attention from the work that they're actually doing today. One of the ways that I like to do this is to be really deliberate about how teams focus on specific items. So uh, a way to do this is to have specialization in your organization. Have those people who are really good at just continuing to operate in the day-to-day -day focus on the day-to-day -day type stuff. And for those people who might be a little bit more innovative, but more creative, really want to push boundaries, give them a chance to work on some of the things that are a little bit more disruptive. Up is, a, uh, Up is an amazing movie. I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying putting it together. Thanks for sharing it with your colleagues and your friends and your family. Really appreciate the comments and feedback. Thank you.